Hey Wayne, Kathleen, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the truck here. Uh, there's a spare tire. Uh, you can actually change a tire with the tools that are on board and uh, by hand. One person can probably change a tire, offload it, go ahead and put it on and uh, you got a bottle jack that lifts up the rear tandem which is nice with six six uh, or three axles so you can just pick up whatever axle you got to pick up change a tire but I've changed one out by myself and reloaded it in about 45 minutes so it wasn't too bad there's a uh, extendable boom there and it's got a slide slide on it and uh, there's a chain that runs through there and a hoist and uh, just little chain hoist and it just picks up the tire and you swing it out over the side and lower it down and then put it in and uh, not too bad not the not the funnest job I wouldn't want to have to do it on the side of the road but anyway uh, I've got farm plates on this vehicle and uh, the title's still in Jet Airways uh, uh, so it's still in their name. I never had the title transferred. To tell you the truth, I'm, you know, I got two of these trucks side by side sitting here. So <laughs> I got one set of plates in Illinois and uh, one insurance policy. I've been driving driving them both like that. A uh, little illegal, but you know, never got pulled over. Never had a problem. And I and I really don't take these out much. I've had this out maybe once or twice in the snow and just farting around for an hour or two you know so anyway but uh yeah you got the pintle hinge on the back i did put a uh and and you got your plug in for your trailer if you want you got the military plug in you can buy an adapter for that uh i'll show you what i did on this truck over here you might want to consider later on is i built a a ball hitch for it and a little drop down. I've had this one for about four or five years. I bought quite a few of these off and on. And I, I just uh, held on to this one. This one, uh, it's just one I prefer to drive. I actually like the dualies on them. Uh, those super singles look cool and stuff. Uh, the guys that are souping them up and driving them off road and everything. But actually, these vehicles are a lot smoother down the road, a lot better ride. And, uh, anything but uh, anyway it's got good mud flaps on it there's the backup camera there uh, the backs drop down the sides drop down uh, you can make it a flat bed so if you want to load salt or anything on top you know much easier to do you don't have to forklift it over the top and you can just set a pallet straight on it um, here's the uh, hydraulic reservoir and uh, it runs off the PTO pump, and uh, you got uh, about, uh, I forget how much pressure there is. I'm going to say there's like 2,400 PSI maybe, but uh, I have to look it up in the book. But anyway, there's a snorkel exhaust. You can take these things underwater if you need to. Uh, you do have to have a little fording kit to make sure that the dipsticks and the all that have rubber seals. Now these are the bleeders for the brake system. And uh, periodically you want to open them up. There's no water in them. Yeah, sometimes you got to use a wrench. Not the brake dip. Man. You use a little pair of pliers anyway. That's the bleeders for the, uh, the two tanks you see there. For your primary and secondary for your brake system. And, uh, anyway, uh, the lights in the back. You got two floodlights in the back shining down on the bed. And then you got the 360 degree spotlight, which is nice when you're plowing at night. You can aim that thing right out there where your blade's throwing the snow. And, uh, got good visibility. Uh, you got side view mirrors and a round mirror on each side. And, uh. The door latches for the hood. Always want to make sure you got those. I 
forgot to latch those before and had the hood bouncing around. Anyway, uh, it's got the block heater.